Today's lesson will focus on subject the formula from National 5. A formula is used to connect variables together. Through substituting into the formula, we gain a value. Most often, we calculate a value for the subject of the formula. In the formula E equals MC squared, the subject of the formula is E. We can change the subject in the formula through algebraic manipulation. To do this, we use bid mass to help us. Only this time, we use it in reverse. Example 1. Change the subject of the formulae to P. Part A, 3P add 2 equals C. Part B, 7 add J P squared equals 3. So in the question here, you'll see that we're looking to change the subject of the formula to the letter P. So the aim is to leave the letter P all on its own. So if we leave this as 3P, is equal to C. The positive 2 opposite side will come over to do the opposite operation and will become subtract 2. Now the 3 is multiplying the P so therefore when we take over we do the opposite operation so it becomes P is equal to C subtract 2 all divided by 3. Okay, once again, we're looking to leave the letter P on its own. So if you remember, we're using bid mass, but in reverse. So the first thing we want to do is to allow the P to be the subject of the formula. We need to deal with anything that's either adding or subtracting to it. So you'll see here, this seven is adding on to it. So we're going to have to deal with that. So when we take it over to the opposite side, we're going to the opposite operation. So we have JP squared is equal to three subtract seven. Now where possible, simplify down. So j p squared is equal to negative 4. Next, we've dealt with anything that was adding and subtracting, so now we're going to deal with anything that's either multiplying or dividing. So the letter j is multiplying the p squared. So p squared will be equal to negative 4 divided by j. Finally, we now want to leave just the letter p in its own to be the subject of the formula. It's currently being squared, so the opposite of squaring would be square root. So p is equal to the square root of negative 4 over j. Example 2. Change the subject of the formula to g. And we have x is equal to 3 subtract g all divided by b. Slightly more tricky one this time. We want to leave the letter g as a subject to the formula. So we're still applying the rules of bid mass but in reverse. However, if you look here, the full entire numerator is being divided by the letter b. So to allow us to free this up, we're going to have to remove this b. So it's currently dividing. So when we take it over, it will multiply to give us xb is equal to 3 subtract g. 
Now, whatever we're trying to make the subject perform by, you always want that to be positive. So currently, the G is negative, so to make it positive, we're going to take over to the opposite side. So we now get G add X B is equal to three. Now, we're still using our rules from bid mass. The X B is adding onto the G, so when we take that over, it's going to subtract. So G is equal to three, subtract X B, and now G is the subject of the formula. Example three, change the subject of the formula to T. Now here we have A is equal to V, subtract U, all divided by T. Okay, so final example, in this question we're looking to make T the subject of the formula. Now, currently T is in the denominator position. So to allow us to make it the subject of the formula, the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to remove it from this position. So the T is currently down the bottom, so it's dividing. So when it goes over to the opposite side, it will multiply to become AT is equal to V subtract U. Now at that stage there, there's nothing dividing this V subtract U. Remember, we're looking to make the subject of the formula later T. So currently the A is multiplying the T, so the opposite operation from multiplying would be dividing. So T is equal to V subtract U all divided by A.